Can Catholics get sterilized? In this video, we'll discuss what the Catholic Church says about sterilization. Some people refer to sexual sterilization as Catholic birth control. This erroneous term has led to confusion regarding the Catholic Church's teaching on sterilization. Sterilization separates the marital act from the transmission of human life. The Church condemns it for the same reason she condemns other methods of contraception. Moreover, sterilization is also illicit because it mutilates the body. The Catholic Church considers the body to be the temple of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, the body should be honored, protected, and preserved. This means that any mutilation of the body is wrong. Sterilization destroys a functioning body system and is illicit in all cases. In situations where a woman's life is threatened, such as with a cancerous uterus, the principle of double effect applies. The principle of double effect has four requirements. 1. The goal of the surgery itself must be either good or morally neutral. 2. The good effect must not result from the evil effect. 3. The evil effect must not be desired in itself, but only permitted, if there is no other choice. If there is another treatment which does not result in sterilization, this takes precedence. 4. There must be a sufficiently grave reason for permitting the evil effect to occur. If a woman must have a hysterectomy to remove a dangerously cancerous uterus, this will result in sterilization. Because the intent was not to sterilize, and the conditions for double effect were met, the operation is permissible. But if the primary purpose of a surgical procedure is to sterilize, then the act is a direct sterilization and thus is considered intrinsically evil. This means that men and women may not get sterilized to avoid conditions such as pulmonary hypertension or to avoid passing on certain genetic conditions. Since sterilization does not cure hypertension, a woman who chooses to have her tubes tied is being directly sterilized. We must always keep in mind that our bodies are indeed temples of the Holy Spirit. They are gifts from God. We must avoid mutilating the proper functions of our various organ systems. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to stay connected to the conversation.